This is the beginning of the bottom row of triangles, and I have labeled it BR1. It's an EPP modified block. So I go to my booklet, and I have this here. The only difference is they've taken this little strip of out of the English paper piecing block. So I'm going to use this. This is going to be my actual diagram. So here's my laid out triangle. I tried to lay it out on my box, but it's really, really big because there's all these pieces. So it's real simple, straightforward. I put little arrows on this so I, if I had a directional fabric, I know which, which, which way that the fabric would go, but my fabric doesn't seem to be very directional. It's just kind of all over the place. The key to this is going to be basting and obviously placement so I don't get a, a triangle that's going to kind of curve off to the left or to the right. So I'm going to baste my ends, my short ends first, and then I'm going to baste my long ends. And I'm going to make sure that my points on both sides are connected and then I'm going to um, connect them to the middle. So I will start from the bottom and work my way up to the tip. So I've got my first two pieces basted. I did my short side here on the left and then this one and then this one. Although I probably should have done this one last because then my tag would be going away from my seam, but whatever. And then I did my ends and then I did the long sides. So I'm gonna stitch these together and then I'm gonna base this, stitch it on and so on, just so that I can keep everything straight. All right, so I got my first seam connected, and what's gonna happen from the subsequent rows is you've got two, these are both angled edges. This one's obviously more of an angle than this one. And so now that I have them uh, stitched together, I can see, that I can verify that once, because once you base these, you're covering up your writing. And so it's really easy to possibly flip them around. So before you stitch them, just make sure that you have the angled ends together and the not so angled ends on the right side. And normally with a single piece to a single piece, I would start at one end and stitch it all the way to the other. And the reason I'm not doing that with these is because number one, they're really long, but number two is because it's critically important to the shape of the final block that the, the ends match up correctly. So that's why I'm doing tack one end down and then start at the other end and meet in the middle. So, or not meet in the middle, but connect it with where you cut off here. So. All right, so I've got three pieces connected. This one is taped and I'm just working my way up each piece. Real simple. It's just, you again, I gotta watch the edges and you have to make sure that they, if you, if you bring them in too much, if they're a little on the inside, then your pieces are going to start popping up, which means you're get, you're shrinking it too much. So you want to make sure that you have it, um, depending on your fabric, like mine is, is like a, a thread over the, the white is a thread over the brown, or the top is a thread over the, the bottom is what I'm trying to say. So that's my alignment. Just if you start to get your pieces popping up like this that means you're you're not hitting the right points all right so I've actually attached the next two pieces and we're looking good here on either side into the triangle shapes so I just have a few more left to go this is my next one and I will make sure that it gets attached correctly and we're almost I think we're about halfway Okay, so I got another couple of units on here. I'm in the process of stitching this on right now and then just got this one basted and then these two more. All right, so I'm almost done with my triangle. I've just got the two tip pieces. I'm gonna assemble them together before I put them on just because it's it, it gets floppy and stuff. So it's I've noticed that it's kind of nice to put the tip together and then attach it. But I wanted to show you how to make sure that you're keeping your angles accurate as you go. You're going to take your paper pieces pack diagram and line this up on the bottom. And then it should follow along on here. As you can see, 
as of right this on this one I started to get off and then you have to decide do you want to take it apart and fix it depending on how bad it is or do you think you can ease it in and I think I can ease this in so if I flip this over and because this is the same direction and if I if I line this up I'm having issues here if I line this up here it fits um, so that I can I'll be able to work that in so if I just squish this a little bit and I can make up some of the space in, in here when I attach it to my solid triangles but I did get off and that's the problem because sometimes your your angles start to get off and it doesn't take very much for it to go so if you're worried about this as you go up just put it back on here and you should be able to get back on track really easily all right so what I should have done from the very beginning of this triangle and this is how I learn is by doing I should have lined up each piece one at a time on its diagram and then taped it while it was in place and I would have done it from the front so as long as you've got the bottom lined up and the sides on the edges then you can go from there now as I showed you earlier I'm, I'm a little off on my alignment actually more than a little see you can tell right here that I pushed this in too far so this way you can verify that you're accurate when you lay it out so I was going to do this with my tip and it's a little difficult because I got to keep the bottom straight and then put this in position and put this in position so I'm gonna put this where it belongs okay making sure that my tip is along its edge and then while I'm holding it there I'm gonna tape it down and this is what I should have done the whole entire time so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna grab my tape maybe and then I'm gonna tape it if I can reach and that way you know that your angles are right so the next time I have something like this do I will know my t my assembly method a lot better but this should work like I said this should work itself in once I get it in place for the quilt. And now I have a completed BR1 triangle.